I see trees of green and red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies of blue, clouds of white, bright blessed day, and dark say goodnight. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow. So pretty in the sky, all on the faces of the people passing by. I see friends shaking hands, saying, "How do you do?" What they're really saying is, "I love you." I hear babies cry. They'll learn much more than I'll ever know, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Yes, I think to myself, what a wonderful. Oh, it's 
life experience and based on what he has learned with the Lord here, he has been a help to me in ministry. And so it's my privilege to pray for him. Can we extend our hands toward him in a sign of blessing, of wanting to bless him? Those of you who want to and are able, let's come together in prayer. Lord, we thank you for this night and ask that you would bless us and also Lord bless the celebrant. Thank you Lord for 60 years. And if I may say Lord, if this life is an approximation of what 60 more years can come. Let it happen. We thank you for his life. We thank you for how he has been to each and every one of us. We thank you, Lord, for how you have taught him from the days that he was spending on the beach in Santa Monica till now. 
We thank you for all the times that you have guided him and asked, Lord, that more and more you will use him to bless other people, to lead other people, to advise other people, to work with people. Thank you, Lord, for a life of service. And we ask that the next years that you would give him will be more of the same. Thank you that you will make him, Lord, as he has been a good husband, a good father continually to his children, a good grandfather, a good father figure in the church, even a leader in his job. For all these things, we give you praise and we give you the honor. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege of coming together tonight. Bless this man, Lord, with more birthdays and a full life. Always, Lord, show to him the fullness and direction of what you will give him day by day. For all these things we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Master Hector. Thank you, everyone. You may all be seated. Thank you so much. Uh, David son. And like my mom said, uh, we just appreciate you all being here to celebrate my dad's 60th birthday. And in Proverbs it says, um, I think it's in Proverbs chapter 16, it says, Fathers are the pride of their children. And that's definitely true in the case of me and my brothers because my dad is like, he was our first hero growing up. He was the man that we look up to and the man that we still continue to look up to. His example of being a father, his example of being a uh, husband. Um, just growing up through the years, he's given us so much sound advice. And most of all, he's given us love. And he's brought us up um, just with the uh, appreciating family, appreciating one another. You know, growing up, me and my brothers, we always, um, my dad always told us that, you know, your brothers will always be there. And you're all, you'll always be brothers. And as we grew, you know, we continued to realize that. And my dad would always emphasize how much family is important and how important it is. And, that's why we are the way that we are. And God used my dad to uh, be an example to us. And, and uh, just to um, share God's wisdom with us. And even uh, my devotion time is uh, based on what my dad, the principles that, that my dad taught me. You know, reading Proverbs, you know, one proverb a day. Um, but uh, um, I just want to thank God just for my dad, just for the example he's been, for the love he's shown, for the support he's shown. And, uh, you know, just for the... Even at this age right now, my dad is like, my, you know, like I said it before, he's in my BFF. So um, I'm just, I'm thankful for that, that I can spend time with him, have fun with him, and we can just hang out, watch a ball game, and just enjoy it together. So um, in those times that my mom's away in Sacramento, me and my dad are always hanging out. So just thankful for God for um, 60 years in his life, and just looking forward to uh, more years to come to celebrate and just to... Um, you know, see what God has for us. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Next. Brother Mark. Well, Brother David. Yeah. You know what's funny? is y'all Filipinas look a lot like them Native American girls I grew up with. I think that's hilarious. Ah, uh, Pocahontas, you're too cool. Too cool. I learned about, oh, three months ago that there was such thing as the Akamura word. And I always wondered why David was the way he was. Well, guess what? He has a steady belief in God. And he has character that says if you're going to do something, you do it. And he passed it along to his boys. And I give you credit for that, sir. That those, these young men with the last name of Akamura know how to keep their word. I, I, I have to, I have to, can you see this man on a surfboard? I mean, really. 
Is this urban le urban legend, or did you really be a surf bum there, bro? <laughs> He's not talking, so you got to figure it out for yourself. But uh, how many years married now, young man? Okay, let's let's try that one more time. Brother David's been married. 35 years to the same woman. Praise God! There's some people, I bet you in this hall, or at least some people you know, that need to go by the Akamuras and say, how did you do it? How are you doing it? Because marriage is the hardest thing that anybody on this planet's ever going to do. And I have seen these two young people expressing love to one another. Now, love is the hardest word in any language to do on a daily basis. And I see a lot of family here and a lot of friends and whatnot. We thank you so very much for coming out tonight. Sister Cora. Now, Sister Cora has worked all day long to make this what this is today. So y'all go by her. Yeah, give it up for Sister Cora. So y'all go by her and maybe give her a couple bucks so she can go get a, you know, like a foot massage or something. <laughs> Oh, Brother David does that for free, okay? Uh, never mind. Y'all keep your money. But let's, let's have a hold down tonight. Let's see. Brother Don, you can come by myself and whatnot, and I'll tell you all about what rednecking really is. What orchestrated fights are what the Grange dance was every Saturday night. So again, we thank you so very much for coming to honor our brother David. And uh, please, feel free to have fun tonight. Thank you. Thank you, brother Mark. All right, next. The next sign. Okay, hi, I'm Josh. I'm the uh, second son. You just heard my uh, twin brothers talk. So um, the uh, cowboy thing, I guess you could kind of know that my dad liked cowboys growing up. Uh, John Wayne. But um, I'm not sure if it's John Wayne or is it Blazing Saddles. Is that why you wanted the cowboy? You like cowboys. But um, yeah. Um, Growing up, uh, my dad's been a good example to, um, to, to my brothers and myself. And um, like uh, Mark, Brother Mark was saying about the relationship he has with my mom, like it's a, it's a good example because uh, like I try to have the same relationship with uh, my fiance. And so um, the way I, I see how a relationship should be is, of course, it's First, it's based on God, and um, second, um, you support each other, and um, you both become better because of each other. And if you see my mom and my dad, a lot of the uh, success that they have together is because they're each other's biggest support. And so that's what I take when I see their love for each other and how they've improved since uh, they're younger. So it's not that um, um, you get old, it's that you get better. And that's what I see um, with my dad and I see that with my mom as well. Um, growing up, also my dad um, used to like comic books and his, uh, his favorite character was Thor. If you read the uh, comic books, it's different than the uh, than it's different than the uh, movies. In the comic books, there was this nerdy guy who found the uh, the 
the hammer of Thor, and it says whoever picks up this hammer, or whoever yields it, um, has the power of Thor. So um, this nerd, when he picks up the uh, the hammer, <laughs> he turns into this huge, uh, tall, blonde, buff man. And so he was teased by dad saying <laughs> that he liked Thor because he always wanted to be a big, blonde, <laughs> tall man. <laughs> But now that I see it, um, I think that um, the, if, if I chose a hero, um, he's a bigger hero than Thor. Like, um, he's real life. He's, he's not, he's not make-believe. And he's, he's done more to help more people than a make-believe uh, hero can ever do. So I'm thankful to uh, God for um, this hero. He's, uh, he's my dad. And happy uh, 60th birthday. Thank you so much, Josh. Next is Vince. Hi, uh, my name is Vince. I'm first born with my parents. And you know, I just want to say uh, happy birthday. And, gosh, I can't believe it's sorry. It's, it's sick, you're already 60. <laughs> but, you know, um, you know, Mark was right about the Okamura word. If there's anything that really hit my life in such a way that has impacted me, it's the whole, um, if you say you're going to do something, you just do it. It doesn't matter how you feel. You make a commitment to something, you follow through with that commitment, and that's what he instilled in me. I mean, I could talk you know, for a long time about, you know, growing up with my dad. And, you know, my dad, he, he did a lot for me and my brothers. Whenever, I remember when we were kids, we would always go to Toys R Us, and we would always ask him, he guys his toy, and he would always get it, you know, every single time. And we had a lot of toys <laughs> around the house. And, you know, we would, we would open it and then play with it for a couple of days and not play with it anymore. And, you know, we would see all these toys and you know, he, he wouldn't get mad. But, you know, he just kept giving. He was, he, was such, he was such a giving father to us. He nurtured us. He, you know, even you know, when we were in high school and elementary, you know, he helped us in, in sports. He coached us in Little League. He did so many things for me and my brother. He even brothers and he went above. You know, a lot of times, you know, we saw him tired. We would wake, we would have to, we would just wake him up so he can take us out to eat and stuff like that. And, you know, he wouldn't complain. He would just get up and take us out. And, and he was, he was a, he, he's a great father. You know, he's a great grandfather. And you know, he loves my daughter so much. And I you know everyone who sees him with my daughter. It's, it's an amazing because you know he's never been, a, you know, he just never really been an open or a girl. <laughs> so to me, it's you know I, I knew how he was when you know growing, um, raising three three boys, but to see him with an you know, Okamura girl, it's, it's been a revelation to me. You know, I never I've seen a side of my dad that I never thought I would ever see sometimes because he cherishes that girl so much. And, you know, my my daughter just you know on the way here she's like it's like where's grandpa? Where's grandpa? It's Grandpa's birthday. Where's Grandpa? You know, so. But all in all, you know, my dad has been such a great influence on me and my brothers. And for the rest of our lives, you know, that will always carry through to us and to our kids. So, you know, I thank you, Dad, for, you know, for everything. I mean, I'm glad he's healthy. You know, he's, he's healthy and he's, he's in good shape. He still looks good for 60, so. You know, I keep praying. I'm oh, like, God, make it another 30 years. You know, because you know he's such a good help, and you know he can see his grandchildren grow up and to be, you know, a mighty, mighty woman. So, thank you. Thank you. All right. More from the families. Brother David. Okay. How about Brother David? Your wife is requesting you to say something about yourself. <laughs> but I'm a good father, I'm very good. 
On the day of the birthday, celebrate and put your hands together. Thank you everybody for coming and thank you for being here and uh, thank you for Cora for, and my sons and everybody here for having this wonderful party. I was sort of surprised that nothing was being done on my 60th birthday since <laughs> I did something on my 50th so I was sort of wondering but I thought that's okay, you know, it's no big deal. Um, last time was, I had my 50th birthday I almost uh, went out and they had a surprise and because they were a little behind schedule I almost went out to a Dodger game. <laughs> but. I'm just glad to see everybody here. I'm just glad that God's given me 60 years and uh, a wonderful wife and three wonderful sons and two grandchildren. And I just want to just to thank all of you for being here. It's really a blessing for me to see, see all of you here at this time. I know you all have busy schedules and things to do. And uh, I'm just grateful that I made 60 years. I, I don't know. I, I, you guys know about my life. But, you know, I'm, my mother passed away when I she was 44. My Brother passed away when he was 46. My other brother was 58. My dad lived to 80. So I was sort of worried that you know I never I never make it to to uh, to 60. You know, so so I'm sort of glad that I, I made it. I'm very happy and and uh, blessed to have a job that you know is, you know gives a good retirement and and hopefully I'll be able to enjoy it along with the fellow retirees. <laughs> and. Uh, I'm just grateful that I come to this church and I learned a lot. And one of the biggest blessings that I've had, and I guess with Cora, she moved up the ladder and became the uh, secretary treasurer of SCIU. I remember when I used to worry about her, you know, because I knew more about the union and I knew a lot of people. But, you know, she, I learned from her. She's very well organized. She knows how to delegate. She knows how to ask the right questions. She was worried about her, and yet uh, she was doing a much better job than me. You know, so, but you have to trust in them, and, and sometimes God brings up people that will do a much better job than you, and, and she has done a much better job, and she's moved up to the, the level of a, a statewide leader in the SCIU. <clears throat> and I'd like to thank my sons, you know. When I was, a, when they were young, I wanted them to be baseball players, you know. I think I may have told you about that. I wanted them to be in a, an outfield in the, uh, the Dodgers with, you know, all, you know, with the Vincent right field. Uh, Sam in center and Josh in left. You know, it, it didn't turn out that way, but <laughs> but I guess the the, the biggest thing why I, I remember, but there was a there was a picture of, of in the LA Times on September 17, 1996. I guess Vince would have been graduated from high school, and on the field, I, I don't know if you know Hideo Nomo. He was a pitcher with the Dodgers. Yeah, I pitched a perfect game. I oh, know, I was no hitter up in Colorado. And that was on my birthday. And the next day, in the, in the Daily News and the LA Times, they had a picture of him, you know, people holding him up. And then on the, one, on the back of one of the play, one of the people that was holding him up was the name Okumura. You know, they, the translator with the name was Okumura. So, so I figured at that point in time, that's probably the Okumura that was going to be with the Dodgers. <laughs> It wasn't going to be Vince, Josh, or Sam, but I sure had that newspaper picture from the Daily News and the LA Times. But one of the best things that I, you know, even though they didn't make it to the major leagues or whatever, it, it's been a blessing to be with them, to experience things that I have, I didn't experience with my dad since I was a young boy. You know, I didn't really, you know, it's a big age difference between my brothers and myself, so I didn't really experience much time with my dad. I guess... In a sense, I was sort of like the latchkey kids. I sort of did my stuff on my own, you know, because, you know, in those days, it was okay to be on your own, you know, to do things. But nowadays, you can't leave your kids alone. <laughs> Otherwise, they, they, they get you for not uh, taking care of your kids. But I, I think that the thing I learned most about it was that my, I, I'm able to see my kids actually mature and grow. And not many, very many people get to see their grandchildren i get to see the kids mature. And I guess, I don't know if it's the, it's, you know, there comes a time in your life when you realize that there's, you've lived longer than you, you're going to live <laughs> later on. And not that I'm, you know, again, I'm not, not that I'm worried about it, but <clears throat> I'm able to see my sons have a lot of wisdom. You know, to see things that I never thought they would see. My oldest son, I don't know if you know Vince, he plays in the praise and worship and he does, he speaks in the, in the, on the pulpit, and he's very, very, 
I guess, blessed and, and gifted. But when he was a young kid, he couldn't order from the snack bar. He was very shy. So some of you that see him in church, it's hard to believe that he can actually, he couldn't, and when he was, I think even during his teenager days, he couldn't, he couldn't speak up and say anything. But he's a very, very knowledgeable individual. And in the words of wisdom, when, I, when he teaches Bible study, I learned a lot from him. I'm just amazed how he can, how much wisdom he's gotten on his own. He learned to play the guitar by himself. And so I, that's things where God has really blessed, blessed me with that. And then my sons, uh, Josh and Sam, you know, Josh is like a 10-year state worker now. It's hard to believe he works for DMV. <laughs> but don't ask him any questions about driver's license or anything. <laughs> I get a little upset when people ask the questions about that. Not, not during work time. And then I've been able to spend a lot of time with them. I, you know, I never, I never spent time with my dad that much. You know, I was able to. I never went to Vegas with him. I never went on a vacation with him. But I've been blessed to spend all my time with my kids, going out to different places, to, to different. Like we've gone to Oregon. We've gone to uh, New York and Arizona. You know, and Vegas. But it was, it's amazing that God's allowed me to be able to spend time with each and every one of them. And, and, and another thing I wanted to bring up is, um, I don't have any what I call true friends or real friends, you know, that I hang out with. My, my friends are my, my kids or my wife, and I guess it's gonna be in my grandchildren when they get older. But that, that has been the biggest blessing for me. I just, and again, I just want to thank all of you for being here today. And uh, hope you enjoy it. And I, you have a great uh, DJ here. <laughs> enjoy it. So thank you very much, everybody. The birthday celebration from David. Yeah. God bless you, Brother David. Happy birthday. Okay, next. How about from uh, the company that uh, Brother David worked? Office, maybe later because it's a lot, <laughs> right? Okay, time to think, that's good. Adikora, Adikora from the wife. Give it up, Adikora. So, uh, sorry, I look like just so tired and everything, but you know, I'm really blessed to have David as my, you know, other, I call him my better half, because he is. And um, I'm so glad that I think we made it a surprise for you. I hope we did. We tried our best. He was already as, you know, actually he went, you know, he arranged to go to Palm Springs on his birthday, because he thought there was nothing going on for him, so he said, I have a room in Bunch Space. I'm going without you. Without or without you, I'm celebrating my birthday. I'm like, I'm already so doing something for, for you on Saturday. But I could say it to him. But um, yeah, well, you know, uh, David is known by co workers to be a very kind person, very nice person. And in fact, when I was new to the Department of Insurance, there was a clerk there. Uh, who, who <laughs> I was asking for help, and there was a little misunderstanding, and he said to me, your husband is a lot better than you are. <laughs> so I'm like, that's good, you know. <laughs> I'm so proud that my husband is a good person, and he is a kind person. You know, everywhere he goes, even throughout the state, because he was active at first as a union leader, and he met a lot of people, people throughout the state. They really know him as a kind person all over the state and um, even uh, when he became a supervisor in management and had to step up to the plate because he didn't want to give up uh, his uh, uh, contact with the rank and file, he still, you know, got involved with the union through me. And, you know, it's because of his compassion and care for the working people, he always has uh, that compassion especially for the poor and the needy. In our church, you know, um, some people probably may not know that about four years ago for a long time, he would take his vacation on, on Friday to just haul food in the truck. He would go to the U-Haul and uh, 
a whole food there for the needy because this church gave food for the homeless and the needy as well. So he took his own time, uh, went to the U-Hall for the church and packed it up with a lot of food with Brother Don, the two of them on Fridays. So that's a, a thing that he did in the past and then um, some new people came you know, to church and they took over some of these uh, responsibilities. But I am just so blessed that I married David. You know, I'm actually when I was single and I got involved with the Lord Jesus on a personal Lord, a personal basis, I said, I would like to marry a guy who loves the Lord. And so I found out that he's that kind of person. I started praying for him. I said, that's the man I love. I said, I want to marry this guy. <laughs> no, it's not a joke. <laughs> I saw him and I said, ooh, he's the guy. <laughs> So, it works, you know, when you pray. <laughs> so I started praying for him and, you know, we got engaged after six months only. Remember, imagine, after six months, now 35 years of marriage, it's, you know, the, I think the, the, the secret is forgiveness. If you hurt each other, if you, you know, make mistake towards one another, you don't go to sleep without forgiving, forgiving one another. And uh, he spent a lot of time with my boys, you know. Tomoko, he, David used to tell me that they used to sit down next to each other. Him and Tomoko and Tomoko would know that he's going out, you know. You know, he would go home, go home early, take vacation, to go to, you know, the Little League baseball. He's always with them in the baseball, you know, baseball league, coaching them. And, you know, so he really spent a lot of time with the, with the children, you know. So, in the church now, as he grows older, he's spending more time in the church. As the kids have become adults and uh, working on their own and spending their time with, them, or with other people, now he has more time to spend in the church. And I just want to thank David for, for your examples, for your dedication and your commitment. And thank you so much for, for uh, you know, for what you have been to us. I only... Okay. Thank you. I also want to thank all the men and women who helped me prepare this uh, party for him. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Akimora. All right. Uh, Anyone else? Okay, you're, you're still thinking?
May we have your attention, please? Can we have your attention? Thank you. Okay. My name is Tomoko, and I think it works for me. Um, I think a little while ago, someone asked, like, you know, somebody from work would speak up. So I, I then volunteered. There are a few of us here. Um, I don't know many of you, but I first worked with Cora for many, many years, and then there are things change at work. All of a sudden, now I am. Um, working with David and I haven't been in supervision for very long but um, David actually even though he works for me, for me um, I've learned a lot from David as how to treat your employees and um, I have a lot of learning to do from David um, it was really surprising because he's a really quiet um, and gentle guy, and you think that you know, he's not supervising, and he's not, he's just so mellow. But then, whenever we have a lot of work to get done, he amazingly gets things accomplished. So, um, thanks David, and happy birthday. Um, and I'm so glad to have you um, as a person working for me, because if it wasn't for you, I don't know, how I have gone through the last couple of years. Um, so I appreciate it. And uh, thanks, Cora, for organizing the party. Um, it's really good to see that, you know, he made this 60th uh, milestone. <laughs> and I wish you many, many more years of this happy birthday. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next. Yes. Oh, you yeah. can you hear me now? All right. Hi, I'm from uh, local SIU uh, 722. Uh, we got two other uh, DLC presidents there, and uh, I'll have to say, uh, David is uh, was in my DLC, and I think he was chief steward or president at the time, and so was Cora. Uh, Cora was also the, the treasurer and all, and one thing I have to say about David, he is the most calm person I've ever known, and when he explains things, he explains in a way that anybody understands. Maybe you don't, may not agree with him, but he explains it his way, uh, what things are, and uh, that's one thing I, I, I really appreciate about, about him, his uh, honesty, his integrity, and uh, it's a, it's a pity you left us. And you went into supervision. We really miss you. And of course, not to say, Cora right here has really picked up the slack when you left, and uh, she really moved up and uh, took a turtle. <laughs> so, uh, from us in SIU, congratulations on your 60th birthday. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. How about this side over here? That group over there? It doesn't have to be long. You can just stand it. I love you. You better than have a birthday. All right. Here we go. Uh, my name is Vivina, and I just want to greet the brother David a happy, happy birthday and many more years to come. Uh, I, my husband can't make it today, but he said that to extend his greetings. I'm so happy that brother David no, uh, met my husband. My husband is a kind of shy guy, but he enjoys talking to brother David, and he is so blessed to, to meet him. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sister Divina. All right. Okay. See, I told you. You started. A lot of people want to say something. Uh, uh, good evening to everybody. I'm uh, Vincent Baldassar, uh, the uh, older brother of uh, Cora Carazon, uh, David's wife. 
Uh, I want to uh, congratulate David today uh, for your city and birthday. And I uh, want to uh, thank you for uh, the love and support you've given my sister uh, through all your married life. And uh, to your children as well. Samuel, Vincent, and, and Joshua. And uh, uh, I'm really happy that you're my brother-in-law because you're so kind. You're a very nice person. And uh, I want you to know that it's in the bottom of my heart and uh, my brothers and sisters here that we appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. If my hus the late husband is still here, he would have been standing here saying a lot of things about Brother David because in this church, they were the closest servant of God. I remember way back then when we bought this church and they were both working. You should see this church because when the church, the church bought this, it was very crude and it's not as pleasant as this one. But both these men, my late husband and a few other men, really work hard to make this church very uh, uh, very attractive to and uh, well used by the members of this church. Well anyway, my husband would have said and I'm saying now, Brother David is the nicest, gentlest person ever that we have met in my family. And Brother David, I'm glad to have met you and I'm glad to um, work with you for the Lord and uh, I'm also glad that my family had a chance to be a part of your family here on earth and heaven bound. Praise God. Happy birthday. I'm going to continue the dancing, but before I'll do that, uh, Sister Cora, what do you want to do? Just continue the dancing. Do you want to say something, Brother David? Continue the dancing, okay. Can we have uh, lights off, please?
Thank you so much. And stay there. Because you guys look lovely. And plus, thank you so much because you want me to sing one more. Here's to all of you. Come on, who else gonna join? It's a lovely night. Grab your couple. Grab your other loved ones. Here we go. Someday, when I'm off the road, when the world is cold, I will feel the glow. Just think you and the way you love tonight. You're all lovely. Yes, you're lovely. With your smile so warm and your cheeks so soft, there is nothing for me. Tonight Ooh, with each word Your tenderness grows Tearing my
and um, just to thank you for how he has uh, touched your life. Thank you.